What is up YouTube? That's here bringing you guys an extra special video. Today we are talking about the announcement of the International Challenge November. It just got announced uh, the other day, like right after maintenance on I think Monday evening. But yeah, this is going to be the first of three International Challenges or online competitions you guys can play in the VGC 2019 Sensories format. These are ways for you to earn CP as well as get yourselves a shiny Tapu Lele. All from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to go to any regional you don't have to go to any events, you just play, it's going to be on the weekends. What we're going to be doing is going to be talking about the dates, how you guys sign up. I'm going to have a link to the sign-up sheet that you guys are going to be seeing here uh, in the description of the chat. I think sign-ups go live on like November 20th, so be sure to sign up, get yourself this free shiny Lele. So for those of you guys who don't know, international challenges, uh, you know, I think I've uploaded almost every international challenge throughout the past four or five years on this channel. So if you guys want to see some highlights some from some previous international challenges, see how the format works, to see how you get paired up with people uh you know you can definitely go back and look at some highlights on this channel i have a ton up there just type it in and it'll come up but uh yeah what sets this international challenge apart from previous ones uh other than it is in november and they're not normally in november if i can remember normally it's like i think it's been october i think it's been august one year i think one year it was december usually they're like january so i don't really think they're in november that often but uh yeah what sets this one apart is it's in the vgc 2019 Sun Series format, so it is completely 100% VGC rules, which means no Megas, no Z-moves, no Primals, no nothing like that. So you guys are just going to get the basic, you know, VGC 2019 experience you guys are having on Battle Spot. So any teams you guys can make, you guys can use. I don't think you're able to use QR teams, so don't try and use any QR teams. But what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be reading through this page, and I'm going to be talking about what you get for entering, and, you know, just a couple other things to fill you guys in on the info. So, uh, again, uh, Battle Nota 2018 International Challenge November Online Competition. It's where this is the 2019 format, but, you know, it's still in 2018. Where players can earn championship points. Points turns to 2019 Pokemon World Championships. All qualified participants will also receive a shiny top of Lele. So the real question is, how do I get this Lele? So the way that you're gonna get this Lele is just by participating. You do not have to win. You just have to participate in three games. So you can queue up, play one turn, and just run. And you do that three times. And then uh, once rankings are decided, they will send you a shiny top Lele. You can see this top Lele right here on the screen. It is pink, black, and white. And this thing looks so sick. And it's actually a theory of mine that, remember, I think in a previous international challenge, that's how we got the shiny type of Coco. Uh, in this international challenge, we're getting Tapu Lele. There's still two more international challenges about the rest of the season. I think that's how they're going to give out Tapu Bulu and Tapu Fini in their shiny forms. So, another thing about this type of Lele is we don't know if it's going to be uh, nature walked. But I was talking uh, with one of my buddies today, one of my mods, and Coco is obviously shiny walked into Timid, and I think Lele is going to be walked into Timid as well. I wouldn't be surprised if Fini was locked into Modest, just because that's kind of decent enough in all sets. And Boo could actually be seen as locked into Jolly or Adamant, either work. But I think they're going to lock it into Timid, because the reason the reason I think it should be Timid, you know, personally, even for Tapu Coco, for Tapu Coco and Lele, I like Modest variants. But, you know, it shuts off so many sets from even being viable if you're locking it into a special attack boosting nature versus a speed boost in nature. Because, for example, if you're going to lock into a special attack boost in nature uh, and give away a shiny, like, Tapu Legendary to everyone, uh, what is the reason to show that you're even using that in a game? Like, if you're going to a game and you're like, okay, my guy has shiny Tapu Lele, I know that shiny Tapu Lele is modest, which means if I'm using a Tapu Lele, and uh, if it's just not shiny, you know, I could have a timid one or I could have a modest one, they don't really know until they send it out and, like, we have, like, a little bit of a speed tie situation or, you know, we send them out at the start of each game and we can see whose ability activates first. So, uh, I think it's safer for TPCI to lock them into Timid versus, personally, I would rather have the modest. I like that extra damage, but I think it's just more playable and better for the scene as a whole for them to be locked into Timid. So, actually, let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments below. Do you guys think it should be locked into Timid? Do you guys think it should be locked into Modest? Or do you guys think it should be locked at all and you guys can actually go and just reset it a million times go whatever you want that's also another option you know we never know with these things so uh you know i'm just going to scroll down this list here uh uses regulations from the sun series the first three formats the 2019 championship series competition so again limited pokedex uh you know using mostly legendary pokemon the same thing it's always been you know you can use two uber pokemon and uh, no z crystals mega stones blue orb red orb and no Dragon Descent, Mega Rayquaza, or anything like that. So, if you guys are 
Uh, normal, if you, so if you don't actually play this format, you're probably thinking, I don't even know how to play this format, I just want the shiny Lele, how do I get it? But I, you still want to win some games. Uh, you guys can check out another video I have, I'll leave it in the description, for the BDC 2019 tier list that I created a couple weeks ago. So if you guys are questionable on what Pokemon are really good and you want to start building some teams, you can watch some videos on this channel. But check out that tier list, build a team out of those 20 Pokemon that have a little bit of synergy and you're already off to a great start. So, uh, top players in each age division will achieve championship points, for those who don't know. That is how you qualify for the World Championships, and, uh, you know, it's actually really beneficial that you can actually earn CP from this. There's a lot of people who actually earn their invites based off these. Some people can only go to so many regionals, can only go to so many premier challenges, and having the ability to earn CP from the comfort of your own home, where you don't have to be stressed out at a regional, you can really just put some music on, which is normally something you can't do at a regional. You're not allowed to listen to music at all other than in-game music, so you can put some music on, take notes, not be stressed out at all, play the games literally whenever you feel like it through the course of the weekend, and we're going to talk about, you know, the times in which you can play later on, but, you know, being able to play from the comfort of your own home is something that is highly undervalued when it comes to tournaments like these, so everyone plays with a home court advantage, and so you get to set that up if uh, you're playing at your own house. So let's see, registration for the 2018 International Challenge November begins on Tuesday, November 20th! So Tuesday, November 20th, that is a Tuesday. So uh, it's probably going to be right after maintenance, the day after maintenance. And uh, the competition itself goes from November 30th, which is a Friday, until Sunday, December 2nd. So it's going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you'll be limited to 15 battles per day. And 15 is a lot, sometimes it's 10, but uh, so you can play up to 45 battles throughout the whole competition. And there's a bunch of different things we talk about. You can try to be one of the first people to play, but uh, you know that, that could backfire. I'm going to explain all these strategies. So I want to talk about it. Because it's on November 30th and there's no regionals, normally they like to the schedule these around the same date. There's like a regional or there's like uh, you know a big national tournament or something like that. So a lot of the world's best players are you know at those live events so sometimes playing on Friday is really good because you're gonna be able to play against not them and get a bunch of free CP against people that are just playing to get the Lele so that's totally always an option or you can do you know play like you know 30 games on Saturday you know because you're skipping Friday the games all carry over you can play 30 games on Saturday and depending on how well you do you can decide to keep playing on Sunday that's normally how I do it sometimes every once in a while I'll save and just do like like a six or seven hour stream where I play like all 45 games or as many as I can on Sunday and just grind out against people who are making that final push and I'm not gonna lie, a lot of those people on Sunday that are trying to make this final push, sometimes they're either really feeling it or they're tilted. So if you're in a really good playing mindset and you're ready to climb, remember, this is a tournament based off, you're fighting people just like Battle Spot and it's points. So it's not about how many wins and losses you have, you have to beat people that consistently have higher points than you while losing to people who, if you're gonna lose at all, it, be, it better be against people who have higher points than you. So if you start on Sunday, you're going to be playing against people who already have a good amount of points. Whereas on Friday, you're playing against people who only have 1,500, 1,550. You're playing against people of the same points. But if on Sunday, you just climb against people who have already established all their points, take all their points, and that's how you really get into those upper 1,800, 1,900 echelons. So if you guys want to climb, the easiest way to do that is to like do it later on in the tournament. Start late and just do all your battles uh, from the comfort of your own home in a good mindset. That's normally how I do it. And uh, obviously you guys need a Pokemon Trainer Club account linked with your uh, DS, linked with your game and all that stuff. Like I said, I'll be leaving a link to this page. It shows exactly how to set that all up if you don't know how to set it up. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I will do everything and everything in my possible powers to help you guys out because everyone is, everyone should get the shiny Tapu Lele. Like, I know people that skip that shiny Tapu Coco and they just regret it because, you know, it's, it's such a cool Pokemon. Uh, again, sign up is November 20th through November 29th. You have to sign up during the nine day period. Very, very important. And uh, I think you can only actually sign up with one game. So you have multiple accounts and you don't want to risk getting banned. I think you can only sign up with one account. Our participated gift qualified participants will earn championship points. All qualified participants will earn time for Lele. To qualify, eligible players must earn a place in the rankings by completing at least three battles. So it's exactly like I said, uh, compatible games are Ultra Sun and Moon. So again, you have to have Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. So regular Sun and Moon do not apply here. Uh, other than that, it's basic VTC 2019 rules. Uh, you know, no, no legendaries like Mew Celebi, uh, but you can use stuff like Mewtwo, Lugia, Ho-Oh. And other than that, it's pretty 
basic seven minute timer. It's exactly the same it is on Battle Spot. 45 seconds to make you to move, so that's pretty much it. It says rankings are gonna be announced sometime in December 18. Rules subject to change. So guys, let me know what you guys think about this competition. Are you guys hyped to see this type of Lele? And uh, yeah, let me know any questions you might have about this competition in the comments below, as well as any questions you guys might have about your team. Uh, you can see we have all this beautiful social media right under here. You guys can hit me up on any of those. We're also making my Discord available for everyone for these next two months. Normally my Discord's only available for Patreons and Twitch subscribers. We're doing a little bit of a Christmas gift and making my Discord available to any and everyone. And welcome to join our community. So if you have any questions, about how to make your teams better, how to get better at Pokemon. I'll try and leave a link to the Discord in the description. If I don't get to it, just leave a comment and ask for it. Other than that, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked the video and found it informational. We're going to be busting out a pretty cool team in this format. Uh, I'm probably going to be busting out my exclusive uh, December Patreon team um, for this event. I don't think I've really shown it to anyone yet, but it's like I said, it's my December Patreon team. So I'm currently building it right now. It's a lot of like tedious EV training, but it should be pretty good. I'm shooting for an upper 1800 rank. Probably, I'm, I'm shooting to go like 40 and 5. So I think I'm going to do okay. I think I have a pretty good read on the meta right now. So that's my, uh, you know, expectations for this tournament. Let me know what your expectations for this tournament are in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.